What's happening? Andy here. I am joined today by Willem from Papercut. Willem is in Melbourne, Australia. How are you doing today, Willem? I'm doing very well, sir. How are you? I am great. Actually, I asked you how you're doing today, but it's tomorrow there if I'm, if I'm <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's Friday, almost weekend. So you're, you're ahead of us. Uh, I don't know. Is the virus still there? Have you guys beaten it yet? What's going on in the future? Um, yeah, it's, it's going pretty well in Melbourne. You know, yeah, we're, we're fortunate. Um, it's, it's been around two weeks with no new infection. So, you know, the things uh -huh. are looking very positive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's way ahead of where we are. It's, uh, we are in a big time uptick here and hopefully uh, mm -hmm. maybe start burning itself out sometime soon. Um, I was just going through some old photos and it's been almost exactly two years to the date that I was actually at Paper Cut, uh, getting a tour, doing a presentation. And uh, uh, I, do, I do miss being down there. I miss the coffee. You look like you're working at home today. Are, are, you, are, you, are you guys at, back at the office at all? Is it a mix? How's that going? Yeah, it's, it's still working from home. You know, just playing it safe. Um, and you know what? We've we've grown accustomed to working from home. Um, the team actually works really well remotely as well. So, you know, doing doing our part, um, playing it safe. Well, you are definitely set up to work. Um, you know, remotely. You guys are all over the world. I've got contacts from Papercut that I've is spoken to in, in probably six different countries, uh, at least, right? And, and you have offices and way more than that. But uh, we wanted to bring you on the show here today, Willem, to, to talk about uh, CloudPrint, right? So it was just about a year ago, um, right around a year ago, actually, when Google announced that they were going to end mm -hmm. their CloudPrint program, uh, which immediately sort of launched a movement within our industry, within the print industry, to fill that void. Uh, several companies, you being one of them, were already really far down that path of launching something that was just perfect for a transition like this, right? And so now we're at the point where uh, Google has uh, kind of gotten to the point where I believe it's next month, right, that they are going to do away with this. So where, where does the industry go from here? You know, what happens when Google essentially pulls the plug and what's paper cut in, in the industry in general? Uh, what do we need to do? Mm. Well, even before a Google made that announcement of Google Cloud Print being deprecated, actually a lot of our customers did migrate away from Google Cloud Print to Mobility Print. So, you know, we were in a very good position already. Um, we did happen to announce at the same time as Google made their announcement that we made Mobility Print free. Um, so that is the popular transition that we've had for a number of years for our customers to move to Mobility Print. And going forward, um, customers that used to use uh, Google Cloud Print and maybe didn't use print management or didn't need print management, and they can actually now just use Google um, Mobility Print for free. Um, so that's that's a transition plan that we're recommending to our customers. Um, and just from an industry perspective, uh, with Google Cloud Print going away, obviously it's a, you know was big news for a lot of people. Um, like a lot of voids uh, left there, especially with being able to print over the internet. And that is something that we then added to Mobility Print as well, is the ability for people to print over the internet uh, from anywhere in the world. So forgive me, I should have probably done this a little earlier, but you know, let's, let's um, take a step back and why don't you tell us who Papercut is, right? You know, I know them and, and a lot of the people watching know them, uh, but certainly there will be some people who, who are seeing you guys for the first time. Uh, I can tell you, Papercut is, you know, one of the premier leaders of print management. Um, you're a, uh, an Australian company. You've been around for, why don't you tell, take it from here? You've been around for how many years? How many people? Yeah, so uh, we were founded in 1998, so over 20 years ago. Um, and actually, like the company was founded on cutting waste. Um, our CEO, Chris, you know, he worked at a school. Um, and he just saw like all these uncollected pieces of paper like next to the printers and he's like, you know what, I can, I can create something to solve it. Um, and then, yeah, like he, he wrote a piece of software uh, together with Matt Torren um, and 20 years later, he has paper cut. So we're definitely a global company. We even have a customer in Antarctica, like I was quite pleasant to see that. Um, so over 100 over 100 million users currently are managed with PepCut software. Um, we're very popular in education, but also in other industries. So government, commercial, enterprise, um, all over the place. Um, so 
from an employee perspective, we're a returnant employees, um, but oh, as wow. Hypercat, yeah. <laughs> you were, I, I just, when I was there last time, I think you were knocking on the door of 150 or maybe less than that. So you're still growing very quickly. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What number and, are you? Uh, I know you're all numbered, what number are you? <laughs> I think I was around 60. Yeah, um, you're, so you're, you're, you're yeah. one of the first guys then, so. Um, yeah. Well, that is pretty amazing. So it's not just koala bears. It is apparently also penguins who are uh, big print management fans. And, and uh, Antarctica, I haven't heard of anyone who's got business down there. <laughs> you. Um, let's talk a bit more about this mobility print you brought up before I kind of sidetracked you and got the background. Um, mm. Mobility print is, uh, it's not new, but it, it has been enhanced in this latest uh, rendition that just came out within the last couple of weeks, right? Um, mm. You mentioned some verticals where you guys are really strong. Education is a big one. Uh, tell me a bit about mobility print. Why is it such a big deal? Uh, why is it so good for, you know, let's maybe since I brought it up and you brought it up, why don't we kind of focus a little on education and talk about why, what makes mobility print such a, such a, um, such a great feature uh, for that vertical market? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So when it comes to education, being able to set students up and staff to print is quite a nightmare if you have to think about like BYO devices. So if a student brings a Windows device or a Mac um, or they need to print from their Chromebook or Android device or iOS, like without mobility print, that would be a nightmare. And so how mobility print works is as long as you've got a computer or a VM or something that has a connection to your printer, all you have to do as an IT admin is uh, put mobility print on there send your users a link, they follow a couple of steps and they're up and running. Also when it comes to schools, um, especially with Chromebooks being so popular, you can also just deploy the mobility print client out to your students and they're up and running and they have to print. So you don't have to worry about, you know, what drivers are you gonna use? Um, how do you get all these users connected to your print infrastructure? Mobility print takes care of all of that. So any printer is supported and pretty much any end user device is supported. So you're, you're basically allowing people to manage their print. Um, there are no servers, right? This is a cloud-based uh, system or are there servers too? How does that work? All right, so there's two components to mobility print. So when it comes to printing over the internet, um, Papercut does offer a cloud service to enable that printing. Um, but the thing is, we've developed it in quite a unique way. So we're actually using the same technology we're using right now for this call, um, so WebRTC. Um, so with this cloud technology, we're creating like a peer-to-peer -peer connection between that end user and your environment. So no one on the internet, including Papercut, gets access to any of your print jobs or metadata. Um, but then there is a component that does have to have connection to your printers. Um, so that's the mobility print, what we call the server. But the thing is, you can install it anywhere. So if you want to install it like in a VM, in a cloud instance, you can do that. Many of our customers do that. Or if you have a machine on-prem, you can install it there as well. So mobility print was already going to be a big deal for education. Um, we, we are now in the midst of this you know, COVID situation where companies have gone remote. And uh, how does this play into that situation? Is this an advantage to a customer? Is this something that a dealer or a reseller can go in and say, look, you know, you, you never plan to have your people work like this, but mm -hmm. here's some software solution that in, in A to B to C, here's what we can do for you. Is this something that can help with remote workers is it, or is this just something that completely different? It's actually a big trend that we have seen. Um, so both at businesses and at schools where it, you know, like you're doing your work at, at home um, and especially in a hybrid environment where people or organizations don't want like all their staff back in the office at the same time, you know, they need to social distance. Um, a lot of people then do work from home, but if they have a lot of documents to print with this cloud print feature in mobility print, all they have to do is hit control P, print it, and then the next day when they get to the office, just swipe their badge outcomes to their current job. So um, Safety and securely, seen, by the way. Yeah, yeah, all encrypted, peer-to-peer, -peer, um, and it's fast as well. So it, it goes via the fastest route over the internet to your environment, and when you release it, it's ready to go, and outcomes your document. 
Well, what, what do you think is making mobility prints such a, such a big trend right now? I mean, is it the virus? Is this the direction we were going anyways? Um, what, what do you think? The biggest trend at the moment is Google Cloud Trend going away. You know, there's a very hard deadline. You know, it's, it's next month. Uh, yeah. it's, it's not going to be there. Um, like many organizations did move early, but you know, it's like the majority um, out there, um, there were other things that they needed to focus on. So, of course, you know, with COVID, you know, there's a lot of IT infrastructure people had to move around or to enable staff to, you know, work remotely. And you know, knowing that something is going to end the, the end of the year, it's like, okay, I'll deal with that later. And we're absolutely seeing a big uptick at the moment um, of just like people realizing that Google Cloud Print is going away. Yeah, and it's also kind of crept up on us, right? I mean, it seemed like forever it was never going to be a big deal, and there were all these solutions popping up, but all of a sudden it's like next month, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what? Even if Google gave three years, you know, people would have waited until oh, yeah. you know, one month. And you know, that's human nature. You know, it's it's you know, you have to deal usually with a bunch of urgent things. Um, but for many, Google Cloud Print application is now becoming urgent. So, you know, if you need a replacement, you know, now it's time to move. So I have a question. You guys, um, you have uh, some big news today. This was a fortunate time for, uh, not, not huge news, but pretty big news, at least in your market. And I'm sure it's going to spread out to others. Uh, hot off the press. What's the big news out of, out of paper? Today? <laughs> And so we just launched Cloud Print for Windows as well. And so earlier in the year, we launched it on Chromebooks, so both managed and BYOD Chromebooks. Um, but yeah, now you can print from anywhere using your Windows uh, laptop. Um, so now all Mac, these poor Mac people Mac who Mac. have to suffer through Windows at least have one little, one little thing that they get to do normal like the rest of us, right? So uh, congratulations to you for making their lives just a little <laughs> less horrible. I, I'm obviously a big Mac person. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I like to take shots when I can. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to comment. Um, no comment. Well, you can't I'll, comment. You've got to support everything, right? So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, you know, Google... Google announced this. We just talked about this at length a little bit earlier. Um, but what do you think? Why, why did they kill this? Why? Um, it seemed like everybody was on board with it. It seemed like a, uh, you know, a, a pretty decent solution. At least uh, the evolution was, was, was kind of nice to see. And from a, from a very well-known, respected entity in our world who was, uh, you know, really making some, um, uh, just put, putting out some uh, specifications that we could all work around, right? It was nice. Uh, so, Mm. Why do you think they killed it? And, and do you think that mm. was the smart move for them? Mm. So obviously there's two points here or, or two viewpoints now from the end user perspective, you know, maybe not the most popular decision out there, but, you know, we do need to look at it from Google's perspective as well. Um, you know, printing is not their business. Um, so if you look back, you know, 10 years ago, or almost 10 years ago, they launched Chromebooks, and over 10 years ago, um, they launched like Google Docs. So all these web-based um, uh, documents where people had to print from, and Google's solution was to bring out Google Cloud Print. So you know, you're opening a web page, and you can actually connect to a printer without having to have to have that direct connection. Um, so they solved it really well. But the thing is, that was the problem that they have to solve. They then worked with a lot of uh, printer manufacturers um, and essentially provided them with a specification to integrate. Now, the thing is, it doesn't really matter how well Google built that API. You know, they're still um, essentially dependent on the printer manufacturing uh, doing a great job in integrating. Um, so when it comes to like a perception of Google Cloud Print not working well, you know, how would they solve it if, if they need to work with all these different printer manufacturers. So that's, that's one thing where they got stuck. Um, the other one as well is Google made it very open. Um, so with these open APIs, a lot of businesses actually then started doing like back-end printing through Google Cloud Print. So especially in retail, um, since Google Cloud Print, um, that uh, deprecation announcement was made, um, a lot of retail businesses came to us also and asked, um, how do we do back-end printing? <laughs> they got um, stuck. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, like these retail businesses pushed a lot of volume. Like I, I spoke to um, a company the other day, like in a single store over Christmas period, they would push 100,000 jobs through Google Cloud Print in a single day. Like that's one store. day. A day. Yeah, yeah, in one day. So now imagine like the like globally how many of these back end print jobs are going through Google and you know but there's really no upsell opportunity there for Google because it's just they're using yeah. their API to print. So how does Google actually get out of this? You know there's this open API that everybody is kind of like abusing. Um, and then it's also like this perception that Google Cloud Print is not really working and it's not their business. So um, that's where they decided, well, let's just go bother with like native cups printing on Chromebooks, self printing for Chromebooks. But you know what? All these other printing things that everybody wanted us to do, you know, that's not our business. Uh, so let's step away. And that's my opinion, by the way. I, that's not official. I, I understand <laughs> that's your opinion. This is not officially a paper cup position, but uh, it's just an expert position. Why don't we just say that? Um, so this was great. I really appreciate you taking the time uh, in your, your morning, probably first thing for you. Uh, as we wrap up, um, just, you know, why don't you let my viewers know where can they get this? And is there a link? Uh, you guys will give me a link, I'm guessing, where, where they can get this. You, you mentioned, is, did I hear that yeah. right? It's free? It is free. So if you want mobility print, it's free. If you then want to have like the extra control and visibility, you can install it alongside PaperCut MF. Um, so I will absolutely give you a link or people can Google uh, PaperCut Mobility Print and they can download it. Um, also for your, for resellers out there, um, ACDI is having a webinar next week. Um, also uh, Matt Shotton from PaperCut will be joining that webinar. Um, so if they want to find out more, um, you know, about how they can assist customers with migration, absolutely join that webinar as well. So ACDI, Echo Print Q, uh, all these guys will have the latest information on this. If you're in the States, if you're over in, uh, in Europe, uh, Select Tech and some of the other distributors would be great places to check, right? So, uh, Willem, thank you so much for taking the time. Any last shout outs to anybody? <laughs> um, to the team that actually just built Mobility Print. I'm, I'm working with an amazing team at PaperCut and also, you know, when it comes to like Chris and Matt, you know, last year when I pitched let's make mobility print free you know like they were focused on customers and not money um, obviously there's a great you know opportunity for customers then to adopt PaperCut MF as well but yeah everybody everybody we're working with um, to, to help customers well it's great to see you all thank you again and please uh, send my regards to all my friends at PaperCut Chris and Rebecca everybody out there and I look forward to you know this thing winding down this pandemic and hopefully uh, getting something on the calendar where we can come back out and, and do an in-person update on all the changes you made and most importantly obviously get some of that coffee from from your incredible baristas uh, world-class baristas I, I believe it is part of your training on your first day to <laughs> learn how to operate the equipment um, this yeah. was a treat thank you so much Willem we'll talk soon take care awesome thanks okay. Andy all right bye-bye